what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Let's start here, though, uh, a little college football talk. We don't have to spend very long in here, but Josh Pate was, uh, had, posed an interesting question on Late Kick Josh, and it was, uh, what name do you think will be one of the most breakout, maybe one of the most impactful? It doesn't have to be breakout. It could be also be impactful names of the college football season, and he said Blake Baker, right? Makes a lot of sense, right, in terms of what else you could be if you bring about the events. I think that's a very solid answer. I, um, you know where my head immediately went here, and it is a name that we all know very well, uh, but I went with Chip Kelly. And the reason being, Ohio State is the most national championship relevant team right behind Georgia, right? I would say you could maybe argue Texas as well, but I think Ohio State's better and been more seasoned and has amassed more talent. Um, But with Ryan Day no longer calling plays, I think that was some real dangerous waters for Ohio State to be in, right? Would offensive regression continue as their defense suddenly started to get really, really good? I think Chip Kelly, I think he stops all that. And I think there's potential that maybe even, you know, gets this Ohio State offense back to where it was or closer to where it was with C.J. Stroud a couple of years ago. And you may say, oh, well, Chip didn't do that much last year at UCLA. We didn't have great quarterbacks. If you look at Chip at 22, 21, and 20, Jake, uh, UCLA was 1, 2, or 3 in scoring in the Pac-12 in every year. And they were damn close to 1. It would be like half a point, maybe a single point if they weren't 1. Um, and now you have Chip Kelly no longer having a fundraise, having a politic having to recruit 24-7. So now you get this guy that I would argue is still one of the best offensive minds in the country, and he is fully committed to offensive theory and play calling and everything else, and he has the best team he's ever had. Maybe yeah, you could maybe. argue against that with Will Howard because he's had better quarterbacks than Will Howard, and you know we all know that's the most important position. But in terms of lineman skill, like that will be the best team, and it certainly went paired with the defense. That will be the best team that he's ever been a part of from a raw talent perspective. And so when I look at Georgia and what pushed them across the national championship finish line, getting Todd Munkin and kind of raising that next level, while it's maybe not exactly the same because Chip, it's going to be hard-pressed to outdo what Ryan Day did, I still think that Chip Kelly is the right man for the job at the time if you're an Ohio State fan that can maybe push them into the natty, which by definition would make you a massively impactful name. All right, so you went with a coach. Yeah. I'm going to go with a player. Uh, I'm going to go with Avery Johnson, quarterback for Kansas State. Because the Big 12 right now. Oh, the young cat. Yeah, the played saw last him in the year. the Pop-Tart Bowl. Yes. Yeah, yeah long hair, great long, hair. beautiful, long blonde hair. Yeah, one of the, the highest recruited guys that in, uh, Kansas State's ever ever gotten on campus. And last year he played, he played uh, I think he was nine games he played in. 37 of 66, 479, five touchdowns. Also had 300 more yards on the ground with seven rushing touchdowns. So he's a cat. Obviously, he's a dual threat guy. But when I think of impactful and like breakout star, remember the Big 12 is going to be up for grabs. Texas and Oklahoma are out of the conference. They're mm-hmm. going to get an automatic bid. Oh. And I know that Utah and other teams in Arizona is a really good team. And we'll see how Brent, Brendan's able to lead Arizona. But now that an automatic grab, Big 12 champion, and Kansas State won it just two years ago, I think Avery Johnson is a stud. He is exciting. He is somebody that, if you haven't seen him, like it's must watch. Like he's got like that kind of ability. Like it's a little bit chaotic. Yeah. Like in a, in a good way. Yeah. The only time I watched him was the bowl game, and he did, he acquitted himself very well. Let's see, in NC State, he threw for 170 yards, two touchdowns, and rushed for another 71. Yeah, he had good rushing numbers. I remember. So, I mean, in a school that's had a lot of quarterbacks that have been incredible dual-threat quarterbacks, this is the next one in line. And obviously you lose your starter, like you just mentioned, Howard, to Ohio State. But impactful breakout because I think he has the talent and because the Big 12 is right there for someone to take over. Yeah, if you make the playoff, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, Cam Rising in Utah? I mean, do we have any, I mean what about Kansas? Kansas is probably up there a little bit. What about you, Taylor? Give me a name. 
Um, DJ Uyunglele going from Oregon State to Florida State. I think that that could be a really good fit for him. I know he's not a new name, but he's in a new place. Uh, he's taking over for Jordan Travis. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Uyunglele is fine, but I don't know. Um, Uyunglele doesn't necessarily feel like a, a game changer. In the same way that even like an Avery Johnson maybe does. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong there. Um, I mean, if we weren't being homers here, I would have said Nussmeyer. Okay, so I, I was I was actually thinking that. And I was okay, like, let me find then. somebody who's chest not LSU related. It's, in, it's, it's an LSU show. You might as well give the audience some local local flair. Garrett Nussmeyer. I think he's going to be awesome under Joe Sloan. They're familiar with each other. You saw what they did in the bowl game. They looked like they had worked together all year. And that was a little rough at the first quarter, but... After that, they looked really good together. You're going to have him and Cortez Hankton together, just like you did in the bowl game. You got the weapons. Now, they're a little unproven, but you got a lot of bodies there and a lot of talent. And I think Nussmeyer's ability to throw the football is excellent. Wow. Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.